So far we've had a great deal of success creating a frog that moves, creating cars that kill, but we haven't created success as far as what to do when the frog makes it to the finish area. Now there's obviously two different ways to do it at least. One of the ways is to sense if you're touching the red color, which we've already done before uh, in our warm-up exercises. The other way is to actually have an object here in the finish area called finish and that way it tends to be more safe and secure because otherwise if you end up with an, a car that has the exact same shade of red then when the frog touches that shade of red then it might think it's already reached the finish line when really it's just touched a red car so usually that doesn't happen because it's you know precise shades and all that good stuff but what we're going to do right now is we're going to erase this red finish area we're going to add in a new sprite called finish and then we will um, sense if the frog is touching the finish area and if so we'll do the dance of joy and level up and all that good stuff so step number one click on the stage and then click on backdrops and we want to get rid of this finish right here so step number uh, so the first thing I like to do is pick up the color so I'm gonna pick up the color gray you'll see it's now showing right here in this area and I'm gonna choose the bucket fill solid color bucket fill and I'm just going to click one time there so that's gone and then I'm also going to use the paintbrush and I'm just going to paint over the words and now I can't see my paintbrush anymore so I kind of have to go by feel there we go all right so so now that that is completed I can go back to um, my frog script is all good my car scripts um, are excellent and now I want to create a new sprite so I'm going to paint a new sprite and I want to zoom back out to 100% I'm not sure why it's always set to 200% but that's somewhat annoying and I'm going to create a box I'm going to create a red box and I'm going to hmm that's not what I wanted uh, undo. I'm going to create a box and I'm going to create a solid red box there we go so I create a solid red box and then I'm going to click on the T for text and finish. No, I'd like that to be black, please. Ah, there we go. And then click somewhere else and move it to where I want it to be. And then, oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, let's see if I can move you back to here. There we go. Okay, so there's our finish area. Now, unfortunately, it's just situated right in the middle, so I just pick it up and move it where I want it to go. So if you wanted to make your life really miserable, you could have a finish area over to the corner or something like that. But let's just keep it really simple right now. All right, so there's the finish area's location. And now uh, I'm going to call it the finish area. Just to make it easier it should not rotate at all but it should show and so in my scripts I'm going to when the green flag is clicked I want to make sure that it shows and I want to make sure that it goes to this location now maybe I don't like that maybe it's X minus 6 Y 64 so I can certainly change that to 0 uh, it's not going to move it too far and if I want to move it up I'll move it up to 165 and so that that's the huge difference that I just made there between those numbers so it's now centered and there's our finish area and now what I can do is I can uh, sense whether the frog is touching the finish area now we can do it one of two ways uh, the first way we can do it is to build in here much like we did for the cars um, whether the frog is um, successful but actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build that right into the frog itself okay so let's just move that up a little ways and so here we are where the frog is alive and it can move up down right and left and I'm just gonna add another if right in there to say if we're touching the finish area so again there's a number of different ways you could do this but I found this to be the most effective now please make sure you don't have the if in here because then you'd have to be pressing the left arrow in order to win and please make sure you don't put the if down here 
because then you can be dead and win at the same time, which would be very strange. So let's make sure that you're alive. Okay, so here we are. If we are alive, uh, sorry, we're in the alive area. So now if we are touching, there's touching. And then now you can see here we've got cars and there's our finish area. So there's a good reason right there why you should always name your objects because it's just so much easier. And if we're touching the finish area, then we should play a sound effect. We should have a little celebration time. And um, we should also uh, find a way to level up and create points. Now, I'm going to uh, save the points for the next video. But in this video, uh, we'll try and create levels and, and do that right now. So first of all, touching the area, let's get a sound and we definitely need to import a new sound and it should be a really really awesome sound hmm what really really awesome sound could we possibly uh oh oh <laughs> uh, that's kind of annoying or you could do that but there's all these different sounds that you could choose from uh, I'm gonna choose the <laughs> Oh, that, that's just, that's really annoying. So, uh, try and... No, I think the male laugh will be fine for now. So, there's the male laugh, and we're going to go back to scripts, and down here, we're going to play the sound of the male laugh every time you touch the area, and we are going to glide back to the start. So, here's our start, there's our there's a glide right there actually if I can duplicate that and then throw this part away I can put that glide right in there and the other thing that that well let, let's give that a try because I think what's gonna happen is as it's gliding back from being successful it will probably glide over top of one of the vehicles and die which is definitely not what we were hoping for so let's see if we can get through to the finish area <laughs> Yes, as, as I suspected that would happen. So we had both the laughing male sound effect and the bell toll you are dead sound effect. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that after it's done gliding back that we also can set the frog is dead to zero to make sure that it's alive. So it, it shouldn't, on its victory celebration, it should not die. Uh, it's not always true, but let's just make sure. Okay, so now it's going to glide back, and so this time we should not hear the bell toll. So let's give that a try. And, <laughs> and there we go. So now we've successfully navigated how to do um, a, a win, a success, but we would really like to create some levels. And in order to do that, we just make a variable and call it levels. Actually, I'm just going to call it level, uh, and then we can call it level one or level two. And there's this really convenient spot right here that will tell us uh, what level we're on. And there's another spot over here, another spot over there, another spot over there. So we've got four really easy places to keep information. So at the beginning of the game, when everything is still beginning, I'm going to set it to level one. That just seems to be normal. And then every time that we are successful, um, I'm going to, after it glides back, I'm going to change the level by one. So let's give this a try now. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and once we've done our laughter and glided back, it now says level two. Now, right now, level one and level two are exactly the same. We haven't really figured anything out. Okay, uh, as we haven't figured out a way to keep track of our lives yet. So that's where we're building towards.